2022 Kia EV6 Suvity Review, it's an excellent electric almost SUV. As the SUV sphere has shifted from majority truck-based behemoths to crossovers with car underpinnings to the more recent crop of Loslung hatchback EVs marketed as crossovers, we're constantly having conversations about what qualifies a vehicle as an SUV. As we discovered this year with the Kia EV6, it largely comes down to feel. Numerous judges commented on the EV6 qualifications. Features editor Christian Seabaugh spoke about the Kia as a great car, and there's no shame in that word. Buyer's Guide director Zach Gale suggested the seating position doesn't say SUV at all, and senior editor and resident old man yelling at Cloud Erangold is convinced Kia only calls the EV6 an SUV for marketing purposes and that we shouldn't buy into its, er, cow patties. We're done as a publication deciding what's an SUV, if a company sells it as one, we'll evaluate it as one, off-road abilities and all. Of course, Kia's argument for its new EV as an SUV is even harder to take in the case of the 2023 EV6 GT. With 576 horsepower, a GT button that turns off traction control for easy tailout antics, and minimal ground clearance, it's much more sport than utility. Gold called it an electric drift monster. That sporty character extended past the GT, though. Senior editor Justin Westbrook mentioned that all three EV6s we tested, GT Line RWD, GT Line AWD, and GT drove like performance vehicles, and most judges applauded the EV6 controlled body motions and direct steering. When not carving up canyon roads, drivers will appreciate the five levels of regenerative braking and linear power delivery. The Kia's driver assist features, shared with Hyundai and Genesis, are also intuitive and impressive here, the EV6 will follow gentle curves and can even execute its own lane changes at a prod of its turn signal stock when the level 2 hands-free driving system is active. That said, most judges pointed out the EV6 rode more stiffly and offered a less commanding view of the road than its Hyundai Ioniq 5 platform mate. Another difference between those two is how each approaches climate and media controls. Numerous staffers took issue with the Kia's setup, which involves two sets of dual-function touch controls housed within one panel, the driver swaps functions at the press of a capacitive button. Frequently, we'd reach for the left dual-purpose knob to change the volume and end up adjusting the cabin temperature instead. Beyond that issue, we like the interior. Flowing lines on the dashboard, supportive two-tone seats, and user-friendly infotainment and digital instrument cluster systems all come across as modern and sporty. Gale called the design special in a non-luxury sort of way. There's plenty of knee and headroom in the back seat, but multiple judges noted there isn't space to tuck your toes under the front seats. Cargo volume is decent, though, and buyers can fold the rear seats nearly flat with a pair of levers in the cargo area. With the seats down, one of our six-foot staffers could nearly lie down, perfect for eco-friendly car camping. Well, so long as you don't go too far off the beaten path, the all-wheel drive EV6 GT line on hand got stuck climbing the sandy hill during our off-road test. Call it what you want, the EV6 nails its intended function by providing a spacious back seat and usable cargo area of an SUV with the long-range and ultra-fast charging of the best modern EVs. Kia's electric future is looking bright judging by this 2023 SUV of the year finalist. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.